Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. Just got to Hamilton and about to do a walkthrough of our property to see what's been going on here. There's uh, There's been a lot that's been done since we last walked through. The main floor is pretty much uh, drywalled and ready for paint, flooring, kitchens, and final finishings. The basement walkout has been done. The roof's been redone. The basement is pre still pretty much uh, waiting for all of the rough-in services to be completed as we have not received our permits yet. So, But we did a new water line in the basement. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to walk you guys through the project and and give you a bit of an update on everything that's going on. I'm meeting Ben here right now. Before we get into it today, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. And uh, without further ado, let's get in there and see what's going on. Shall we go inside? Let's do it. Drywall's been done. Mud and tape. Ooh. It's so <laughs> close that not. I was gonna it's say, it's still stinks. got that little smell of, still of, of smoke, so. Yeah. When it gets painted up, it'll be. Yeah. Help. Yeah, so we have some painters coming in this week for uh, a couple quotes. This looks sharp. Like, it looks good, good, man. And so the duct is running here. Yeah. And they obviously insulated from above. Uh huh. Well, it just makes such a big. I mean, now when you walk into this space, it's, it's gonna be really nice, right? Yeah. The next stage, obviously, is subfloor. Fixing the subfloor. Yeah. Get that done. <laughs> good, thing, good thing we're not refinishing this. Yeah, they he he spilt his. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can tell. He said he used the new drill and he spilt it. I'm like, well, yeah, thanks, guy. Maybe we can just finish this. Skip go the whole thing. <laughs> Paint her up. That's it. There we go. New style of flooring. And then uh, obviously we're all roughed in for the kitchen. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we also got the um, hydro. Really? I yeah. Was just gonna ask. Yeah, yeah. The hydro came back, so Jason's working on that all that stuff right now. And we got the new paneling too, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this is, yeah, this will be great because we've got everything separated in this unit. The panel's upstairs. Yeah, it's and perfect that it's right there. So we'll just have to figure out how we're going to finish up some of this, like tying old into new. But yeah, so, I mean, he did, a, he did a good job of flat taping it. Yeah. So that we can get a, a good bead of caulking in there. And That's we just, right. So and we, we just paint, paint it all. Out. Yeah. Why is there no door on here? Do they have a pocket door or a closet door here, too? Looks like it. Look at the uh, track. Right. So we need one, two, three doors in here. And then four, five upstairs. We need five doors in here and then all the trim. We should check if they're standard openings. Hopefully they are. It looks like they this one, they have the spots and they putty. Yeah, there would have been a door there at some point. There's your hinge. Yeah. There's your hinge. It just needs to be chiseled out. Yeah. And there's your yeah. latch. Yeah, this one. They're probably standard doors. This one's gonna have to open this way, I think, too, right? We could do a pocket door here, right? Because it's still, it's just gonna be laundry. True. I just, pocket doors are such a pain on rentals. They break down, they, you know, if we can put a door on there, mm -hmm. you know, it'll be better for sure. No, I haven't done anything in here yet. They missed the patch here. I'll get them back. We should take all this hardware off too. Yeah. And then they can fix everything up, right? Yeah. So that we're not trying to patch both. Why didn't, I, yeah. And then that way we can just come in here and paint the whole thing out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, your, 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 your double entrance. Yeah, this is. Which gives us, here's your vanity right there. This is definitely a good call. That's perfect. Yep. And, and a little, 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 little storage there. Good. It works. And we close these in. Yeah, we well, they, they, well, they insulated and they. So we, we left the board off. Yeah. They got in and they insulated. Yeah. And then we put a board back on. Nice. You can actually feel it in here that it's not as hot as, as it was before. Right. Because it's super hot out today. So you can actually like it's holding it. It's yeah. From the from the night, right? And there's no AC on. There's nothing. Yeah. So when you get the AC pumping in here, it's gonna be good. And they rough they roughed in for ceiling fans up here too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's gonna make such a big difference when it's cleaned and painted. Why is there two holes? They <laughs> that up for sure. Those were not there. The electricians drilled two holes in our hardwood floor. There's no way those were there before. We would have noticed them. Was there not carpet up here? No. And those are fresh. Those are brand new. I've never noticed them before. Me neither. They, were, they weren't there. We would have noticed two holes. But I even, I even haven't noticed them. Um, there's no reason they would do that. Well, they were running a wire or something. And they misjudged. 
or the plumber. Somebody drilled two holes in the floor. Maybe it was a plumber. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It, they, the guy who's finishing the floor can fix that. But not at our cost. No. <laughs> Ooh. Can't wait to see that from the outside. Here's your water line. Oh, yeah. The you, new water line. you haven't seen it, right? That's going to be a big upgrade for this house. Big time. But yeah, that'll that'll give us like really good pressure for mm -hmm. both for both units. Cool. Awesome. Let's go look outside. They did a good job. So it's all rubber membrane around it. They got some steel in here too, which is good. Yeah, they did. They double uh, double lenses. But this is great. It's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this top step. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> the, the thing that like, I, I did some research and I looked at a bunch of other ones and yeah. if we bring our our driveway right up to here we're good no it's not good every step has to be the same this isn't a step though it is a step because you're going from here to here that's a step the inspector will not pass this because the problem is these are they, ha they all have to be even if they had come up like if they want to re-pour. Pour just right here. So they have two options here. They can either, which is neither one of them are great at this point, but they can take this out and they can re-pour another full step and we can meet the grade here. Mm -hmm. Or they take this out entirely, but you can't have a half step. It doesn't matter, even though you're stepping to, I know what you're saying, you're stepping to the to the driveway, but it they won't allow it because it's, your, your, your steps have to be equal. Within a quarter of an inch, that's all they'll give you. They marked it. <laughs> you can see they marked it with the pencil. I'm, uh, Kenny's coming with me tomorrow to do some things, so we'll swing by here and I'll let him know what needs to be done. I just don't know what's the better option, right? I think that you take this, they cut, cut this off. Right? And this becomes your final grade? This becomes your final grade. You know, and it's hard because you have to get up. See, I don't know. I think we got to go up one more. You're better to be higher and then you can grade down. Right. As opposed to being low and then everything's running towards that basement, towards right? It. Technically, they could just bring this much up, right? Right. So we don't, even need a, we don't even need a full step here. Like if they could just take this out and bring it to the proper height, mm -hmm. we don't actually need a full step. Then we can then match we go right to our grade. the asphalt. Right. So if we go, if we, they put another up to here, essentially, right? Exactly. The same, they match where, where the they, same. Where they marked it. Yeah. They don't, they then, don't need to extend it. It doesn't need to be a full step, but it needs to be that same level and needs to be an actual step from where it is. Right. Which so, is, they, that's the easiest thing to do. Yeah. Like I would suggest that they take it off, right? And rebar it in and then just re-pour this same thing mm -hmm. just to the proper height. So is it, be, we can't match the grade to this because it's not fully... It's not a full step. It, it, it you know, because you'd come in and you go, oh, that, oh that's, the, that's the step height is three or four inches. And then you'd go to the next one and it's a, you know, it and, and, and it's a trip hazard this way coming back up. Yeah. I mean, everything else looks really nice the way they did it. Mm -hmm. I like these. Yeah, they're nice. And, it, and it's big enough level that a yeah. car's not going to hop it. No. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that most recent walk through of our property in Hamilton, Ontario. As you can see, even the most advanced investors that have been doing this over and over again, we're always going to come up against things when it comes to renovations that we have to deal with and we have to modify as we go because everything doesn't always go to plan and things don't always go as smoothly as you'd like, but you basically... Uh, get past it, get through it, and keep moving forward. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button below. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. Maybe you want to tell me a story about something that's come up on a renovation project of yours that you've had to deal with, and leave that in the comments section below. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenboros.com. With that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey, and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon.